Nikki, you want to get us started with KJ? Sure, KJ. How does it feel to know that you have, you know, the coaches' trust and the team's trust already and to, you know, have solidified your position for now? Uh, it feels amazing um, just uh, coming in as a, as a freshman, just working my way up, just building trust with teammates, coaches, uh, the whole entire staff, just keep keeping my head down, keep working, keep grinding, just building trust through and confidence also throughout just the whole time I've been here. Okay. KJ, how do you think your spring has gone so far? And, and during the break, what are the things that you're going to kind of reflect on and look forward to in the next half? Um, I feel like my spring been, uh, it's been going pretty awesome. Uh, just enjoying taking it all in. Since this has been my first spring, uh, I'm just sucking it all in. And uh, over the break, I'm uh, focusing more on my mechanics and uh, also preparation into like going into different scrimmages or just preparing myself overall. How much of a work in progress, I guess, has it been with your mechanics? I know you reworked some stuff your freshman year. How do you feel like that's helped you in, in terms of velocity and, and those types of things? And where are you right now? Is it still is it still something that you have to think about? Uh, it's uh, sometimes I think about it sometimes uh, just because of the uh, you know what I'm saying me playing in the SEC game, knowing how fast the SEC is and the smaller window that we have to fit the ball into. So basically, from a mechanic standpoint, it just basically speed my feet up and just ripping the ball when I have to rip it or put touch on the ball when I have to put touch on it. Otis. Yeah, KJ, how much do you think, you know, you had a lot of success up at Missouri this year. How much do you think that helped you with your confidence and also maybe the coach's confidence in you, you know, seeing you, what you could do in a game? I mean, it's one thing to do it in practice, but you did it in a game on the SEC on the road. Talk about that. Uh, Basically, uh, going into that 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 whole game, we uh, I treat uh, Felipe was with me. Uh, me and him stayed out the practice, going over different types of film, just preparation, just preparing me for the uh, Missouri game. And on top of that, I had a good week of practice. Uh, me and Coach Browse met a lot during that week, just to see what he was uh, for his game plan with me while uh, starting. And at the game, I just just I mean just uh, looked at my teammates and told them that I'm gonna lead them and. We just got to uh, put our head on and keep working. Thanks, man. Dudley. Hey, Jay, I've stayed in touch with uh, Coach Diffie a lot. And uh, just talk about, you know, going back to when y'all were in the ninth grade, just throwing the ball around in the gym to, to what he's meant to you and how he's helped you develop. Uh, Coach Diffie, I just talked to him like uh, two days ago, actually. Uh, that's my guy. Uh, man, Coach Diffie, uh, basically, starting out, he took me on his wing. Uh, he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself at first. And for him to just uh, stay with me and bring that out of me, that leadership, and just keeping me under his wing and making sure he uh, I'm on the right path. Uh, I just have a, a, the most up respect for Coach Diffie and uh, what he's what he's done for me in my life and my family also. So I just had the utmost respect for Coach Diffie. Appreciate it, Scotty. Hey, KJ, just through the first couple of weeks of spring, what have you learned about you know what you guys have skill wise and and what the this offense, you know, could potentially become? Uh, what I learned quickly was uh, that we brought in a lot of uh, weapons on the outside for the receiver position. And we also have a lot of depth that, uh, that we had last year. Like we had a couple guys injured. And now that we're brought in a lot more playmakers and receivers and athletes that can uh, get the ball in space and, you know, make a move, uh, I feel like this is like the biggest asset that we have uh, so far, just the receiver depth and having weapons outside that I can get the ball to. Yeah, who's flashing for you? Who's making plays when, when you're targeting them? Uh, of course, the old guy, Mike Woods, trading us, trailing birds. Uh, for the young guys, um, Jaden uh, Wilson, uh, Keith Trun is coming along. He's coming off of uh, the knee surgery. Um, the uh, Rocky, the running back, he's uh, coming along pretty smooth. Um, there's a couple more out there. Nate? What were the, the biggest corrections made off Saturday scrimmage that you worked on today? Uh, mainly just uh, missed assignments, like uh, with the uh, lineman up front, just correcting on who the, uh, they're pushing the protection to, knowing who the uh, free runner is, the running back, uh, for the up front standpoint. Uh, for the skill position was mainly just knowing what routes and seeing the open windows and finding the open windows and seeing and For the quarterback, all the quarterbacks was, Mainly recognizing the defense, knowing what coverage they're in, and 
getting uh getting the ball out of out of our hands as well. Also, as a running quarterback, are the scrimmages kind of frustrating with the whistles where you're not sure, you know, what happens? Uh, it, it's very frustrating because, I mean, sometimes the defense don't even get close to you and they're blowing the dead. So it can, it kind of get frustrating and mess with you a little bit mentally because, I mean, in the game, you're like, you want to treat the scrimmage as a game. So by them blowing the dead and they getting close to you and stuff like that, it's, it's pretty frustrating. Thank you. Coach? You know, KJ, I just want to ask about a couple of the other quarterbacks. Where, where have you seen Malik Hornsby grow the most since last year? And also, what have been your early impressions of uh, Lucas Coley? Uh, I'm starting Malik. Uh, Malik, uh, he's grown tremendously um, for as getting more involved in the playbook and knowing, you know, knowing what's going on uh, from last year to this year. He's, uh, he's call, uh, on it. He's calling me, uh, telling me, let's meet, uh, go over this, go over uh, different plays. So, I feel like he's took his game to a whole nother level mentally. He have, he has the physical part. He took his uh, game to another level mentally. And far as uh, Lucas, uh, Lucas coming along well too. He's a pretty fast learner. Um, he also is like a sponge. He's soaking it all in from the older guy, me, John, Steve, and guys that have been here and know how the uh, SEC works. So he's soaking it all in. He's a pretty fast learner. Also, Kay Renfro is another one that's a pretty fast learner. Uh, he's coming along. They're all taking their game. That we all had the physical aspect of the game. So, for us, as a quarterback room, we all just taking the mental, just uh, breaking the game down mentally. We've got time for a couple more. Let me know if you've got more in the chat. Tom? Hey, KJ, Greg, Greg Brooks was just in here telling us from the moment you came back in winter, you, you took a leadership role and basically t t took it as your team. I want to uh, ask you about, like, that mental approach. Did you feel like you did that? Yes, sir. I mean, coming in, uh, I knew uh, after Felipe left, I knew I was the next guy in charge. So uh, I did one of the workouts. I just had to come in with a mindset that it was my team, and I had to take over, uh, take over the team from day one, and keep that confidence and leadership and consistency also uh, all the way up. Yeah, and Sam also told us that with you and Malik, it's really more the true nature of the Kendall Browse playbook. He kind of froze up on me. Not kind of. He is definitely frozen. Tom, we'll really come back. <laughs> Nikki? Yeah, Coach Pittman told us that, you know, Rocket brings a different element than some of the other running backs that you guys have in the room. Uh, what have you seen that he brings? And then how good is he in, you know, catching the ball as well, considering they brought him in as a receiver? Oh yeah, Rocket. Uh, he has pretty uh, good hands uh, catching ball out the backfield. Also, uh, Traylon Smith. Uh, he's pretty small, kind of shifty back. Uh, with Rocket coming in and his uh, bigger body, more explosive. Also, and he can make moves in open field too. So by bringing him in, he's just a, a great athlete. I mean, he can do it all. He can catch. He can run. He can block. So I mean, that was a great asset for him uh, for us bring him in. All right, that'll wrap us up with KJ. Thanks, KJ. All right, good job. Appreciate you.